I always played soccer when I, ever since I was young, and I knew about the program, the Glendale program, and it was, it was something I wanted to keep doing in high school. So I started as a freshman. Uh, I started swimming at Glendale uh, my freshman year, so that would have been fall 2018, and I'd been swimming for about 10 years prior, so it's just natural. I started playing football for Glendale really in middle school in OFL, so I've been with um, Mox for a minute now. And really, I just, I've been playing football my whole life, so I just thought it'd be a good idea to join the team. I remember the first day of tryouts freshman year, I, it was my birthday, I ate a lot of cake, a lot of ice cream before tryouts, and I was feeling good, I was feeling really confident. I went to tryouts and I played terribly, and I threw up when we were running. <laughs> um, that was a little bit of a reality check. Um, Going forward, I gained confidence through the years and, you know, got better as I went on. I was really nervous. I didn't know what to expect. It's a big change coming from middle school, but uh, I was excited, though, especially for swimming. Once you get on the high school team, especially when you're a freshman, I, mean, we were, I was swimming with people that were four years older than me and I'd never met before, so it was really nerve-wracking. Yeah, and now you're the guy who's four years older yeah. than the freshman or super <laughs> yeah. Is there anything you would want to tell that freshman version of you who was super nervous when he started swimming for Glendale? Yeah, well, you're going to love it. It's, it's going to be all right. Don't take it for granted. I feel like it flew by. Um, I never thought I'd see the end of it, but, you know, we're here now and just living the moment, really. Uh, my favorite memory is definitely beating Kickapoo every single year of high school, for sure. And I was going to say that, but it's my favorite memory. Probably getting to go to state this year and win for the third time. That was definitely my favorite memory. I think as a team we've accomplished so much. I'll definitely miss the people there and the coaches. That was my favorite part by far, just getting to make memories with my friends. I'm really just playing with the guys that I've been playing with since elementary school. You know, we've built a bond over the past 10 years that we've been playing together forever, so I'm going to miss those guys a lot. I'm working out off-season every day. I'm every day off-season during summer, during season, I'm always working out with the same guys, so really it's just I'm going to miss that a lot, you know, really built a bond with those guys. So. Glendale, well, Glendale, I'll just say, is it's the best soccer program around. It really is, and Glendale's a fam Glendale soccer is a family. I mean, that's our, our phrase that we use is it's a family thing. You know, doing what you like with the people that you like, you're bound to have a good time. That's what we did at Glendale. I mean, um, I did what I liked, played soccer, and I, and I liked all the people I was playing with. So just pretend that we are the entirety of the class of 22. What would you want to say to all of the Falcons who are graduating at semester? Oh my gosh, that's a hard one. <laughs> yeah. Just going to school with you guys for the past seven years has been just awesome. I've made so many friends and thank you guys a lot. Yeah. Really just thank you for making this football experience great. You know, everyone's coming to the games all the time. Every time they can, they all pop out to the games. Um, you know, that feeling of inclusion with the whole entire school. Um, yeah, just thank you for making these past years great. Can I just keep it in one phrase? I'll just say yeah. good luck.
Acapella is really new to me. I mean, most people know acapella just from like the Pitch Perfect movies, um, but I've always just loved to sing in anything and everything that I could, even since like elementary school. Like I had a lead in my kindergarten play, and so I've, singing's always been a part of my life, and this was just something new to try out, so I was all for it. I have been on Crimson Girls for four years. I started as a freshman, and I have continued um, to be on Crimson Girls for all four years of high school. What is your favorite memory? Oh gosh. Um, some of my favorite memories um, from Crimson Girls is going to nationals and a lot of memories were made on that trip and like um, Disneyland and Universal and all of that. Yeah, you guys get to go on some really fun Yeah, trips. it's actually really fun. <laughs> Um, there's a there's a lot of really good memories. I think one that's shared amongst most of the most of the members in the alumni. Uh, we performed for the judges' deliberation at the um, ICCA competition, uh, the regionals that was at Missouri State. Um, we were the only high school group there because the rest of them were college groups, and it's the same. It's it's p the pitch perfect competition. So <laughs> it, it was it was really cool to uh, sing in front of all those people. The thing I'll miss the most about Crimson Girls is just the bonds that you make throughout the years and like the leadership roles and um, that's basically it. Definitely, definitely the friendships. Um, you, you get to, Flockerpuzzle is a much smaller group of people and so you get to connect with them a lot better and it's, it's a lot more than like a 40 person choir. If I were to tell the younger, my younger self anything, it would be just to be myself because the goofiness will get you as far as you need to be. And that's it. <laughs> the last two founding members are on their way out, and so after this, it's a it's a whole new group, and I can't wait to see what it turns into. What do you want to say to all the Falcons who are getting ready to graduate? There's something we like to say in choir that uh, we we say sing out, and um, it's it means things for choir students to 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 sing out and use your voice and to be proud. And I think that goes for not only for music, but for, but for everybody. Okay, class of 22, good luck. You'll do great things. And remember, Flock is family. That's, That's it. There you go. See? I love it. <laughs>
For Glendale, I started my freshman year. This year, my senior year, was my first time going to state. And so I guess it was like during our last practice at the natatorium, uh, we turned off all the lights and threw glow sticks into the pool. And we swam uh, and did uh, warm ups with the glow sticks. Okay, so this is pretty easy for me. Uh, sophomore year. Uh, it was February of 2020. We went to Washington University all the way in St. Louis. Uh, on the way back home, we actually were on the bus past midnight. And uh, it turns out that the day after the tournament was my birthday. So everyone uh, sang happy birthday to me as soon as I turned 16 on that bus ride. It was a very fun moment and uh, the, the best part about it was it wasn't the trivia that made it fun. It was the people we were competing with uh, that made it fun. What will you miss the most about swimming? Definitely the friendships, uh, like competition, it's a great thing to bring people together, but it's really the bond you get out of that experience is what makes it worth it. One of our swimmers got diagnosed with AML, uh, leukemia, and so everyone's kind of just rallied around to kind of, you know, uh, help her and, you know, make sure she's feeling okay. Her name is Margot Price. She's in uh, St. Jude's right now in Memphis, and so it's kind of, you know, we all, like, we laugh together, we cry together. It's just, it's a very big, like, team spirit in swimming. we got a couple seniors, but we also have a lot of underclassmen. So I'm going to have to try and pass the torch down to those underclassmen. I'm going to miss them a lot, but uh, they're all a really fun bunch, and uh, they're really smart, too. So I think they'll do good things in the future for the team. I would tell the younger version of myself is that just don't be afraid to join that club. Don't, even if you're not that interested, if there's someone there that you like, uh, if you have a couple buddies in the club, just go for it. Because I think the best way to enjoy yourself at school is to enjoy the people that you share your school with. Take everything as an opportunity. Don't just see something as like, ugh, something I have to get over with, you know. But even if it is something that's just miserable and you don't want to be there, kind of try and always make sure you're looking at it as a learning experience. Like, how are you going to grow from this? Pretend that we are the entirety of the class of 22. Okay. <laughs> what do you want to say to all the seniors who are about to graduate? I really appreciate everyone in my class, whether I talked with them every day or whether I just saw them in the hall. Because interacting with these people has really helped me in preparing myself for life after high school. While we come here to learn, we also come here to grow. And I think it's impossible to do that without some outside support, without that nourishment that you get from other people. We've all worked hard to get here, and so all of the accomplishments we've made over the years, they're yours, and they belong to you, and you have a right to celebrate and be happy now and be excited for, you know, if you're going to college, if you're going to the workforce, you know, whatever you may be doing in the future, just look ahead and be excited. <laughs> Uh, everyone plays a role in creating the experience and environment at Glendale. And I would say that the environment at Glendale has been very positive and healthy the whole time I've been here. And so I just want to thank everyone who contributed to that, no matter how big of a contribution they made. That was great. That was a really good answer. The Dale upsets the world at ICDC starting now. What up, Mo Decca?
I joined last year and I kind of got thrown into it and I didn't really have anything to prepare me since I didn't take journalism previously but last year it went really well. So C Team is a group of seniors who basically we've always wanted to play soccer but we've never had the skills to be able to play at like a varsity level. It's where we would want. So we just kind of all put together a team for fun and it's just to make memories. What will I miss the most? That's hard. Um, probably just like the creative freedom I have because we can write about whatever we want and I really enjoy like going out and like looking for things that I can write about in the community. Uh, probably the team dynamic of like a sport because I'm a dancer so I'm used to kind of you're competing against yourself but soccer is very team oriented and like all the people on the team, the teammates I'm gonna miss a lot leaving for college and stuff so. I was friends with people previously but then the quill just brought us closer together because we have this common thing that we're all working on and so it's been really nice to like grow closer to my friends and also just meeting new people. Well, C teams are really cool, so I hope that we can continue them even when we're gone. And so even if you don't know how to play a sport, you should definitely still try to do it. And it doesn't matter how good you are, it's still super fun to try. So We put a lot of work into it. Um, I don't think when people look at the quill, they necessarily realize how much time after school that we spend, like I've been here till like six o'clock on school nights and we also come in on weekends to work on it and it's, we work really hard to make it perfect, so. If we were the entire class of 22, what would you want to say to all the Falcons getting ready to graduate? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I would just say thank you because, um, I feel like everyone in my class has helped me in a way like grow as a person and I think everyone else like even if I didn't know anyone personally we all like collectively were growing together and maturing together and I think that's a good <laughs> or that's nice because we're all going to go our separate ways but we like these four years we were like growing together and we're different people than we were in 2018. I would just say to be proud of ourselves for everything that we've done. Like it's pretty amazing that we're a class that has been through COVID and then started off with assemblies and then we didn't have assemblies and then we had online school for half of a year and then quarantine, we were gone for weeks at a time and had to navigate through everything. So I think what we've accomplished as a graduating class is pretty crazy. So I'd say just to be proud of yourselves, it's pretty cool. Okay. When I first took on the role of being the memories producer, I had relatively no idea what I was getting myself into. I knew it was gonna be a lot of work, uh, but I didn't realize the insight that it was gonna give me into the lives of all my peers. I mean, I spent a whole school year editing clips of you guys together and then got the chance to sit down with some of you as well. People I never would have talked to uh, otherwise. The wonderful 411 staff worked so hard shooting all of these things every quarter, um, giving me their best footage, uh, trying their best to make it to games and practices and club meetings and events. and. I am so grateful uh, the amazing footage that they turned into me that I was able to make into the memories video. Um, I hope that seniors, we can look back on this video and remember what an amazing year we had. So that being said, thank you Falcons and thank you to my 411 family. Signing out for the final time, I'm Madeline Stamper.